Welcome to a demonstration of the new CASA Draft 2D Detailing Design Module that's available in IronCAD the next generation. Uh, to begin we're going to create a new document and I'll just click on new here and you'll see that we have a choice between an IronCAD scene, an IronCAD drawing, or a CASA Draft drawing. And I'm going to select the CASA Draft drawing. Now when we first select the uh, CASA Draft drawing we're given an option to pick a template. I'm going to select my A3 template here. And this module actually runs inside the IronCAD process, so uh, IronCAD and the CASA Draft uh, module are able to share memory space, and therefore you're allowed to very quickly create 2D drawings uh, from your 3D models. Now, the CASA Draft environment allows you to not only detail your 2D drawings, but also to create uh, any uh, supporting documentation that you may need. Also you can use this to work with all of your legacy 2D uh, data which I'll show you later in the demonstration. There are many benefits to uh, using the CASA draft interface with inside of IronCAD Next Generation. Uh, one of the main uh, benefits is that it is a it is based on industry standards for 2D applications so if you're a new user to IronCAD uh, you have a very quick way of, of being able to, a very familiar way to detail your 2D uh, documents. Uh, IronCAD also has a very, very easy to use 3D interface. So by switching to IronCAD, you're, you have the ability to quickly learn 3D, and then when it comes to detailing your documents, you're able to uh, be in an environment that is very familiar if you've ever worked with any 2D applications. This, of course, means that the, the main benefit is that there's a very short learning curve uh, when switching over to IronCAD. As an example of this, you'll see a, a industry standard kind of UI. We have a ribbon bar up here, uh, common drawing tools such as creating lines, parallel lines, circles. Uh, you have a, the ability to choose a variety of different types of uh, commands for each uh, group. For example, here on the circles, you have the ability to pick a up to four different ways of defining how you draw a circle. Similar to uh, creating an arc here, you, here we have six different av available options for creating an arc. Um, under the dimensioning tool, we support uh, all the industry standards, uh, you know, templates coming with ANSI ISO, GIS, uh, uh, dimension standards. Uh, you can define your paper space. We have advanced tools. Um, you know, you'll notice even down here we have a command line browser, so you're able to type in commands similar to what you would use in other uh, three other uh, 2D applications. Uh, but let's let's uh, take a look here. What we have this is a A3 template that we have here and uh, you'll notice we have a title block. These are actually uh, intelligent objects so I can actually double click on the title block and it will bring up fields that I can use to uh, define attributes. You can define as many attributes as you want. Um, just a very simple way to, to, to make uh, to, to fill in your title block. And uh, let, but let's, let's take a look at uh, creating um, some a drawing off a 3D model. Uh, to create a th uh, view of a 3D file, we'll just click on the 3D interface ribbon bar, and then uh, we have a, a couple, three different sections here. Uh, to generate views off of a 3D file, we'll just click on the standard view button here, and then we can browse for a file that we'd like to use for the uh, uh, for this demonstration. And we have here uh, the ability you can pick a, a variety of uh, views here, and uh, we'll just go and pick a top, a primary, and we'll get the isometric view in there as well. And uh, to, you can also, as as in IronCAD, you can easily uh, define what you want your primary view to be, uh, front view, primary view. So we have our view selected, and I'll just click OK. And very quickly and easily, we can place the views onto the drawing. Now these views, of course, are fully associative back to the 3D uh, drawing, and uh, you know we can of course fully annotate these uh, views so I'm gonna go in and to begin annotation I'll click on the dimension tab and uh, to place dimensions I can just uh, click on the dimension tool but I wanted to, I want to pick a style first for my dimension so I can just click this drop down here and I'll go with the standard ISO dimension also under if I click on the style manager which is over here you'll see here that I can modify a variety of different elements, uh, dimension styles, uh, text styles. Uh, you can even define multiple bill of material styles, which I'll, I'll show you a bit of, the, bit of that later on. But again, to go into placing dimensions, I can just click, uh, 
we've got the ISO style selected and this uh, this uh, ribbon bar is what we call a fluent interface and this allows us to combine a lot of different commands into uh, a, a small environment uh, the default dimension here is your standard dimension tool uh, very similar to the smart dimension tool in IronCAD where uh, if you pick on a circle you'll get a diameter dimension if you pick on a line you'll get a linear dimension uh, if I click on the down arrow here uh, I can also select a variety of different types of dimension types. So um, to start off we'll just do a, the base dimension and I'll zoom in here. You can use the middle mouse button to scroll in and out uh, if you have a mouse wheel. And uh, just place our first dimension on the drawing. And if we want to zoom in, let's maybe zoom in here and we'll uh, place our, our uh, di diameter dimension. If I want to add in some other types of dimensions, maybe I'll go in and click and add in a baseline dimension. I'll just click my pan over a bit here. I'll click my starting point and the first element that I want to use to create the baseline dimension. And if I move the mouse downwards, I get a uh, horizontal dimension. I can move the mouse to the left to get my uh, vertical dimension. And then I can just start picking on other elements on the drawing. Now if I need to uh, move the view here, you'll notice that the dimensions are starting to creep over on near the border. That's very easy to do. I can uh, These views are associated with one another, so if I want to move this view over to the uh, right, I need to move the primary view over, and that'll, that will move uh, this view over as well. This isometric view is a free, free form, or a, a, a free view as, in regards to association, so I can just place that anywhere I'd like. If I click on this view here and I want to move it when I click uh, you can see here that it, it does constrain me to uh, right underneath the uh, primary view because of the uh, logic inside of the application so we've got our uh, views here now if I'd like to uh, modify the dimension style I can I can simply select it and then I get the uh, properties for the dimension over here on the right hand side and I can go in or I'm sorry, on the left-hand side, and I can go in and uh, pick a, maybe a different uh, style that I'd like. Um, I can also right-click on the dimension itself and pick its dimension style. Um, if I want to modify all dimension styles, I can just go uh, right into uh, my style manager, which I showed you before. I can click on the dim style, and then we can go in and start modifying the dimensions. For example, here's the ISO dimension. If I want to uh, change the, the style, if I want to change the arrowhead to oblique, or back to an arrowhead, or if I want to make a new type of dimension, I can select isometric and select new, and I can create a new, uh, we'll just call this uh, custom, we can create a new a new uh, dimension style and it lists here right on right on right in the uh, dialog box uh, click on the custom style maybe now I can change this to oblique change uh, the leader to oblique the previews automatically updating I can change the text behavior maybe I want it to be centered um, and then I can just click OK and now I have a new dimension style and if I want to apply that dimension style to this dimension I can just quickly select it in the uh, in the, in the menu that appears here and then I get my updated uh, dimension style.